What's tea? It's Nito, and you're watching Nito's TV. Cue the music. So as you see by the title on the thumbnail, you know this is a mukbang. And I guess when I wear black shirts, it's a mukbang. And a story time. I don't know if I'm going to make that a thing, but I'm probably not. Because I don't got that much black. I don't even wear black like that. I'm going to be eating some Domino's pizza. And some wings. Well, not wings. It's like chicken, whatever. Um, on the way home, I started eating a couple of it. Oh well, it ain't gone. I say so. But we're gonna be talking about my coming out story. I did this video multiple times, but it just it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to be giving. Hopefully, it's gonna give what it's supposed to give today. But we're gonna see. Um, with my pizza, I got the got that pizza. Um, let's get into the story time because I'm hungry. Being a kid, I know people have these things of saying, you're not born gay, it's a choice to be gay. But like literally, if you're straight, you can't really say that at all. Because to me, you're literally born gay. Like I had, I knew I liked guys since I was like three years old in daycare. Cause my grandma had like this daycare that we was taken to. Um, I was raised by my grandmother and she had a daycare and I wasn't, I like lived in daycare basically. And in that daycare, I just knew I like guys. There was this guy that I liked, whatever. And I had a dream that we was mermaids in a pearl, I mean, not in a pearl, in a little shell where the pearl was supposed to be. We was there, we was kissing and stuff, just cuddling and stuff like that. And then on top of that, he was my bully. So I don't know, but like, yeah, I like, like at three years old, how you know you like guys? How you know about liking girls or liking guys? So that's how I just know, like, I was born like that. Um, And then from there, I was always, well, my sister, she had a DVD and it was like Britney Spears, her live concerts and stuff on a DVD and I would watch her watch it. And I was interested. And so I'll go in there, I'll start dancing with her. I'll start looking around the corner, seeing how she's doing, whatever. And like Britney Spears was like my, that was like my thing before Beyonce, before I seen Beyonce, Britney Spears was like the one for me. I was like, oh, okay, simple. But then, I'm sorry, I'm hungry. Let me take another bite. When I seen her, I was like, okay, boom, that's the thing. Next, and um, I used to watch Bring It On all the time. The little cheerleaders, and when she did this, that's easy for me. Um, Pussycat Dolls, if y'all don't know Pussycat Dolls, loosen up my buttons, babe. Uh -uh. That was my thing. It was just like all of these things were just. I had brothers and I had older um, cousins and uncles and stuff like that. So it's like you can't, you also can't say because you don't have a father, you don't have no man figure in your life. I had plenty of those. My grandma and all of them, they used to say that I used to be in the mirror playing my hair, and that's not bothering it now. But I used to have like, like lengths. And they used to tell me that I used to always be in the mirror playing with my hair and stuff like that. And that's also another sign. I don't know why I was so scared. Like my whole family, they already knew about it. And they already knew like I was different. And I, was, I wasn't the sports type of people. Like my whole family, they was always playing sports. But I wasn't the one that would watch sports, play sports. My grandma used to be like, I ain't never watch sports, this like that. And it was just never my thing, so like, it was just never my thing. I was like more of like an artsy person, musical, stuff like that. And um, as time went by, time went by, time went by, like I said, my whole family already knew, but it was just me who was scared. I could have been came out, but it was just me who just didn't know and was scared. I don't know. I don't know what it was about it. It's now 2022. And as you get older, you realize like, why did you even come out the closet? You don't need to come out. The like once you come out the closet and you see the life and the world or whatever, and you just start to think like, why would I come out the closet? Like, why did I do that? It was just a waste of time. Like, that's how I feel today. Like, why did I come out the closet? I didn't need to do that. I could have just been gay, period. Um, As a kid, I always told myself that 
I always tell myself, I'm never gonna come out of the closet. It's gonna, I'm gonna give me a boyfriend, I'm gonna move alone, and I'm never gonna talk to nobody. Then I'm just gonna move all the way to San Francisco and live alone and block everybody and stuff like that. I'm just taking it so deep off of just these days. Well, I know some people, they, what's it called? It's harder for them to come out, so it's not really, I didn't take, I took it that deep or nothing. But it's like people actually really go through the type of stuff like that where they actually do need to run away or get away because of toxic and homophobic and stuff like that. But it was just me. I had a different story and I didn't really need to do all that, which I'm grateful for. But um, I was junior year. No, I was it was sophomore, but it was summertime going into junior year and I was going to a new school. And during the summer, um, oh shit. Me and my old best friend, we was hanging out at her mom's house all summer. Cause we had summer school as well. So we just like chilling. And I met this boy and I guess he liked me. And like, I kind of thought he was cute too. But like my friend didn't even know. Well, she knew I was gay, but I didn't confirm it to her. Um, and I met this guy and we told him I was straight too. But, like, he also knew, like, when you're gay, you just know other people are gay. Like, you know certain people are gay. Mm. As time went by, when we started talking and conversating some more, we, um, we, I actually confirmed to my friends, and I confirmed to, um, him and it actually made me more comfortable to come out because i told my friends first well i told my best friend first and then i told some friends that i went to school with then i also told my ex-girlfriend and um and as them as that reaction was given to me and how comfortable it was it just made me more comfortable and it just built up my confidence i guess to like really just be like who cares what other people think it's not that bad, period. That's just where all my confidence came from. That moment right there. I don't know why, but that's where all my confidence came from. But after that, I posted the boy on Instagram. And I made like this whole little paragraph. I actually be talking, me and this boy be talking today. Well, not really today, but like we would have like a little conversation every now and then. But um, I posted on Instagram and I was telling them about how I felt about this guy and who I was and um, what I was doing and me coming out. And I came out as bisexual. I feel like almost every gay guy, they come out as bisexual. I don't know, that's probably not true, but most gay guys, they come out as bisexual first. I guess to get the the feeling of it, it's like a warm up, I guess. But I just told people that I was bisexual and but it was like, I never actually, I told, I came out as bisexual. I never really ever, ever, ever said, okay, I'm gay now. Like, if you want to get technical, me saying I'm, me coming out as bisexual, it never confirmed that I was gay. Even though it didn't even matter no more. I don't have to confirm it to nobody. But I guess I'm still labeled as bisexual if you want to get technical. But I'm not bisexual at all. This is me right now telling you. I'm not bisexual at all. I don't like girls at all. I don't like. I don't like that, I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like females at all. So I'm just gay, I'm regular gay. Pronouns, he, him. Anyways, so um, I came out of bisexual and I was just telling them and then I started attacking everybody in it so everybody can see it. And when um, I started getting comments and likes and reactions and stuff like that. And I started seeing everybody was like, oh my God, I'm proud of you. Or, oh my God, I didn't know. And I don't really understand. If you go, if you see my throw, I'm gonna do a throwback video one day. But if you see my throwback pictures and videos, you would know like, okay, that's a gay boy right there. So for people to be like, oh my God, I didn't know. You fooled me, you tricked me, or I'll be here for you and stuff like that. It was just really supportive. I never, I never got, I never, ever, ever had like a homophobic comment to me or, and I never had to fight anybody because I was gay. I know a lot of gay boys, 
gay men they go through that being gay they always say i have to fight this this and that i'm gonna fight it on my life it was hate this hate that but i don't know i never really had to go through anything like that i didn't have to go through a homophobic family i didn't have to go through nothing toxic i didn't have to go through no hate i didn't have to go through any fights because of who i was or anything like that i don't know i'm not complaining about it because i'm grateful about it because i heard stories about people what they go through and all that and i used to think like i used to think that i had it bad but i heard stories and all that stuff and i was like as i got older i just started to realize like i don't got it bad i got it actually really 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 good as i came out i never actually really came out to my grandma i just knew she would find out because my family they do a lot of this and just people in general they do a lot of this so i knew we'll go to my my grandma but I never actually face to face or texted her or called her or anything. I never actually told her that I like guys. But I just knew she would know. And I used to I did live with her still after that and I did do makeup after that and I was doing hair. So it was just like, oh and I, and I also in what's it called? I had a boyfriend, another one, after that other situation, after the coming out situation. I had another boyfriend. I'm gonna get some story time for that boyfriend. But I had another boyfriend and um, she actually met him and I still never came out to her. But she met him, he lived with us, stuff like that. Uh, that's a whole nother story. There's a lot of stories for that one. My coming out story is not really that grand. Um, I know you guys probably won't wanna know what my mom and my dad said. My mom, she, she accepted, well my mom and dad accepted it, but they both, were like, maybe they just didn't know how to feel. I mean, know how to act towards it. But it was given most, it was given like, I support you, but like, why type of thing? Or like, why are you gay? Why? It was just, it was, it was given questionable. It was like, it was given, I don't want you like this, but I guess, and I can't do nothing about it type of thing. But, yeah, that's just what it was giving. It wasn't giving support, but it was, but it wasn't, but it was, but it wasn't, but it was, but it wasn't. You're phony, but you're phony, but you're real, but you're fake, but you're not phony. Stay confident. Who cares what people think? If you don't want to come out the closet, don't come out the closet. If you feel like you really, really have to come out the closet, then come out. If you're confident enough to come out the closet, come out the closet. If you're scared to come out the closet because what people say and stuff like that, you're not forced to come out the closet at all. Just be you, do you. Whatever you gotta do, just be you. Like, you don't have to confirm to nobody that who you are. If you're gay, pansexual, bisexual, LGBTQ, IA+, whatever, in that category. If you're in that category and you don't wanna come out, you're scared to come out, stuff like that, you don't know what people are gonna say. You not forced, you don't have a time limit. You don't have a time frame. You don't, it's not, what's it called? It's not, it's not against the law to not come out. I mean, it's not against the law to come out whatever i'm trying to say you get it but if you don't want to come out don't come out do it when you're ready you don't have to do it at 16 you don't have to do it at 17 you don't have to do it at 10 years old you don't have to do it at 25 you don't have to do it at 30. it's not a time limit on there it's not an age limit that's the word it's not an age limit to when to come out you do you do what you want to do and at the end of the day you're just going to be grown and you're going to do what you want to do if you want to fuck if you want to have sex with the same gender on the low, then go do that. And that's just on you. That's just how you feel. Because on top of that, what I feel like is, I know this story's supposed to be over, but what I feel like, what I feel like is when people be asking, are you straight, are you gay, stuff like that. And when they judge you on who you are and who you who you find attractive and what you sexualize in and who you're sexually attracted to, you're not going, you're, if you're homosexual, you're not going around asking straight people about who they like, what type of girls they like, what they like in bed, what's their sexual fantasies and stuff like that. Cause like, it just really doesn't matter. So I really don't understand why the straight people have to feel like they need to know what gay people or what anybody else feel like. What anybody else feel like they like. Like if I like men, then I like men, that's up to me, period. You don't, it's none of your business what I like in my bed. Or like for people to judge you, like it's none. Why are you mad that what I like in my bed? Like I'm not in the bed with you, 
you're not in the bed with me. I like this type. You like that type. That's you. Go over there. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here. I'm not asking you about what you're doing over there. In the story, that's just a rant that I can go on with all day. I'm not going to do that today. So I'm out.